I'm Bob Terry. Welcome to another fantastic, classic Western film brought to you here free by Westerns on the Web. Thanks for joining us. You know, the, the Western has been a part of the world's culture ever since the great train robbery from 1903 and all the way through the singing cowboys like Roy Rogers and Gene Autry and, and John Wayne kept the Western alive and continues to do so. Well, here's another classic Western film. Thank you for joining us. Kick your boots up, sit back, relax, enjoy it. And we'll see you after the show. Sorry, folks, and I want to apologize. You young whippersnapper! What do you mean by scaring my team? I'll have the law on you. You should apologize. You might have caused a serious accident. They say everything happens for the best, ma'am. So maybe this meeting will work out that way. Your team... Oh, so I'll say adios. First, just settle over near Rawhide. Do you mind telling us who that crazy galoot is? Cyclone Tom is what the folks called him. He ought to be kept in jail life if I had anything to say. You and me both. Yeah. Get in. Later. I'm going to get my laundry. All right. Okay, 
My shirt ready? Uh, oh, where's your ticket? Yeah. Search me. I must have lost it. Uh, no ticket, no washing. Say, you got a shirt of mine here and I want it, Daddy. No, no ticket, no washing. Say, listen here. No uh, ticket, no washing. Let this be a lesson to you. The next time I bring my laundry, act like gentlemen. Hey, you're under arrest. What for? Never mind what for. Just come along with me. Hey, Your Honor. Yes? Some visitors. Visitors? Hey, let's get these out of here. Come on, boy. Gordon. Your Honor, this here junk just shot up the town. Manhandled some the laundry. So I brought him in here to you. You're done quite right, Sheriff Jones, sir. Good afternoon, Mr. Armour. How do you do, Judge? Um, this court of justice is now in session. Uh, take off your hat and um, make yourself to home. Thank you. Take off your hat. <clears throat> Tom Saunders, uh, you are charged with uh, assault and battery, disturbing the peace, and destruction of property. Um, guilty or, or, or not guilty? Um, well, uh, whatever you say will be used against you, so uh, so be careful. Well, I reckon I better keep still, Judge. Well, you've got to say something. It ain't fair to the court not to. Uh, what'll happen if I just keep quiet? To search me. There ain't nothing in the law book as, uh, about that as I remember. Uh, suppose we flip a coin, Judge. Heads that plead guilty, tails not guilty. Not a bad idea. <clears throat> then if I flip a coin. Coin? Well, you have to lend me nickel if I do. Here, I'll be big hearted and even loan you nickel. <laughs> Hey, you'll have to be <laughs> uh, I beg your pardon. Well, that's my nickel. Uh, oh, my mistake. Uh, sorry. Uh, Tom Saunders, after uh, prone and conning uh, and deliberating deeply on, on, on the evidence, the court finds you guilty as charged. Uh, whatever that is. On to the fact, though, that I'm pretty well like Dombry. I'm going to let you off. Plum easy. Thirty dollars and thirty days. Say, you can't do that. How can I earn thirty dollars if I'm in jail? <clears throat> uh, ain't you got that much money? Uh, no. Uh, how much uh, have you got? Oh, about eight and a half dollars. Mm. Well, seeing as the court uh, needs money, uh, I uh, I change the sentence. Uh, eight and a half. Dollars and uh, fifty-one and a half days uh, in jail. Now wait a minute, Your Honor. If I pay the original fine for the defendant, will you parole him to me for the next month? <clears throat> uh, maybe we could work out some sort of a deal, uh, seeing as the court uh, needs money pretty bad. Uh, Tom, uh, shake hands with Mr. Lamper. 
Glad to know you, Tom. Glad to know you. Western representative of the Illinois Livestock uh, Corporation. Tom's uh, got a reputation for getting into more trouble and out of it than any six hombres in these parts. Uh, he's born to battle, and you'll have 190 pounds of dynamite on your hands. <clears throat> That's just why I want him paroled to me. Yes, sir. I have a proposition. It calls for just such a combination. Show off the papers. Why, uh, why, sure, sure, Mr. Clark. Oh. The proposition I'm going to talk to you about, Tom, is plenty dangerous. You'd be a lot safer in this Cactus City jail than you would be taking me up on it. <laughs> it sounds interesting. As the Justice said, I'm born to battle. So let's hear the rest of it. Well, the cattle concern that I represent took over the Lazy Wire Ranch near Rawhide a few months ago. And our present superintendent, John Brownell, doesn't seem to be able to make it pay. And cattle have been disappearing from the rangeland. And to make matters worse, he's having trouble with the nesters. Now, Powell, the nester, was in to see me this morning about it. He claims that part of our range land is open and that he can homestead it. Maybe he can. That's what I want to find out. That's why I'm offering you Brownell's job, if you'll take it. Now, the nesters and rustlers have got to go. And it's up to you to figure out how, but keep within the law. When do you want me to start? Right now. I'll give you a letter to Brownell, and I'll also write him one, ordering him to turn over the active management to you as soon as you get there. Hey, young man. Uh you got a chance uh, now to make something out of yourself. So uh, just remember that the Old West has uh, grown up. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and uh, it ain't uh, considered etiquette to uh, try shooting up towns. Uh, them kind of galoots uh, get into trouble sooner or later. Uh, yes, sir. Here's your letter to Brownell, Tom. And uh, here's the money. Uh, uh, <coughs> thank you, Harm. So... And I want to thank you, too, Judge, for being so lenient. All right, Tom, all right. on my way. Do we or do we not, no? Yes, we sure do. Come in.
reach for the sky or we'll shoot. Ande, pronto. Disarm him, Blinky. Take the pistola. Now turn around and beat it. See, si. vamos, ande, pronto. All of you, go before I get all full of angriness. Ah. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tom Saunders. I want to thank you, boys, for helping me out. Ah, that's all right. It's a pleasure. <laughs> My name is Lem Holt. Blinky for short, and uh, this is my pal Pablo. Glad to know you, boys. <laughs> Don Pablo. Juan Jose Felipe de las Cruces y Gonzalez. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. What do they call you for short? Uh, Pablo is a good enough name for any Mexican gentleman. Ain't it, Tom? You compare me with any Mexican gentleman? I, Don Pablo, the greatest caballero in all Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't doubt your word, eh, tall, eh, tall, Carranza. Now that's settled, uh, supposing you tell us where you were heading for in such a hurry. Rawhide, New Mexico. And I expect to find a lot of trouble when I get there. That is very really funny, senor. My compadre Blink and myself, we were going that way, too. <laughs> uh, yes, but uh, we didn't know it. <laughs> Well, let's start riding. All right. Uh, but first, we better go to the camp and get our things. Let's ride on our horses, too. All right. too much, Nate. You better lay off. I'll have as much as I like, see? Not in work for me. I won't stand for it. You don't have to stand for it. I'm sick of your Sunday school talk. Now listen. Go on. Get away from me. Nate. Smith. Now listen. If any of you don't like the way I handle this, you know what you can do. <laughs> You're all a bunch of cowards. Ain't a man in the joint with any nerve. I can whip any six of you. <laughs> well, what are you laughing about? <laughs> You're nothing but a loudmouth polecat. Oh, hell, am I?
That man's plenty good, I'll tell you. <laughs> Are you two hombres amusing yourself for the benefit of the house? It's my fault, stranger. I've been trying to find a man with nerve. And Nate here was helping me. Yeah? But now that I'm elected, suppose you do some explaining. Well, I'm John Brownell, superintendent of the Lazy Y Ranch. I've got a good job for a man with nerve at a good salary. Well, how about my pals here? We're traveling together. One man is all I can use on this particular job. You don't have to worry about us, pard. We'll hook up with someone else. Come on, Pablo, let's get a drink and give this town the once over. How <laughs> ain't We'll be seeing you. Let's talk this thing over. Senor, the best in the house for my friend and me. <coughs> Happy like little tequila, don't you? <laughs> ah, big one. No, no good. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, it. That way. Uh, <laughs> What's your name? Tom's enough, I reckon, for the present. All right. Now, here's the lowdown. The Lazy Y Ranch has been having a lot of trouble with nesters and rustlers. So much so that the owners are sending out a new superintendent to take my place. And I figure. If I can straighten this trouble out before the new superintendent gets here, I can talk law, the western boss, into letting me stay. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, we've got enough, Pablo. we got to go and get connected up somewhere. Oh. Oh, so I know, so I know, whatever you say. Oh, compadre, a mí me gusta la tequila. Got a match? Huh? You got a match? No. But I got a very fine idea to use the fire from my pistola. <laughs> Sometimes, Pablo, you don't act as dumb as you look. And it's a good idea. Uh, bueno. Just... Just arrange yourself. Don't wiggle so much. You're drunk. What do you mean, I'm drunk? Borracho. You're plenty plastered yourself, so don't you start wiggling around. Just put the cigar in the mouth. Wait. Hey. Senor Blinke, you better told those other hombres there beside you to move out. They might get hit. Pablo, you're drunk. There ain't nobody with me. They're with you. Say, I didn't know I was going to face a firing squad. What you went and done, and me spending a nickel for it only a week ago. Ah, uh, está bien. You're too young to smoke, anyhow. <laughs> that was pretty good shooting. Ah, señorita. And that's nothing. You have only begun to see my compadre and me use the pistola. <laughs> <laughs> Say, how would you like a job where you could really use your gun? Huh? Uh, pardon me, miss. Do you mean there's trouble floating around here? Plenty of trouble. And a couple of gunfighters are the only ones who can straighten it out. Oh, está bien. Uh, Gracias. When do we start? Miss? Right now. Oh, right now? Oh, está bueno. Uh, and 
Don't worry about the pay. Uh, we'll work for you. Well, look, I've got to go in the store. So you get your horses, and I'll meet you here in a few minutes. Ah, see. Si. Oh, you see, I didn't get that. Oh. And ever since those nesters moved into that old deserted line house, which is on the lazy wide rangeland, we've been losing a lot of cattle. So my job is to get the, you know, the line house and hold on to it, eh? Yeah. But it ain't gonna be no cinch. Them nesters are tough customers from what I've heard. But you being a stranger here, you may be able to get into the house without them becoming suspicious. What makes you think those nesters are rustling your stock? It's bound to be them. We never had no trouble till they showed up. I'll go out to the Lazy Y with you and give this line house once over first thing in the morning. Good. Take Nate and some of the boys with you. And if you get possession of the house, they can stay there. <laughs> Well, Tom, we just got hired out to go to work. Good. Where? Never thought to find out. Ah, but she's a beautiful senorita. You must come and make the visit sometime. Sure, anytime. <laughs> <laughs> You fellas stay here. When I get possession of the house, I'll get a signal. They got Tom. Come on. I ain't so sure. Yeah. Let's wait and see. window, you watch the door. Tom Saunders, amigo mio. What are you two mavericks doing here? Why, we're guarding this line house. See, we were hired out to the Powells to guard the house and keep the people away. One minute ago, Blink took a shoot at a strange hombre. Yeah? <laughs> See, I was that strange hombre. God, I call it. I hired out to get a hold of this line house for the lazy wine. Well, you'd better go back and tell Brownell you didn't succeed, Mr. Cyclone Tom. Jumping hop toads. Are you the nesters? What difference does it make to you? Uh, quite a bit. I'm not in the habit of fighting with women. Uh, claro que no. There must be some mistake, senorita Betty. Senor Tom is our best compadre. That's right. Why, he wouldn't do a low-down stunt like this unless he'd been framed into it. I don't know about that. This isn't the first time he's caused us trouble. I'm really sorry, folks. There's a lot about this deal that wasn't told to me. From now on, I'll see that you're not bothered anymore. Let's go out and see what Nate knows about this. When? Nate, come here! Is 
this the homestead and cattle rustlers you told me about? Well, yes. They're just a low bunch of... Is there, my friends? I'm going back with you to see Fraunel. Either he's a skunk or you're one, and I'm going to find out. Miss Powell, did you meet Brownell? No, but my father only talked to Clem, his foreman. I want you and your father to go back to the Lazy Y with me. I'm going to straighten this thing out, Pablo. If you'll only trust me. I'll take Pablo with me and leave Blinky here to watch things. We'll go with you. Maybe Brownell isn't at the bottom of this after all. All right, get your horses. Mr. Brownell, I want you to meet Miss Betty Powell and her father. How do you do? I'm glad to know you. You're sure welcome to the hospitality of the Lazy Y. Maybe you'll change your mind when I tell you they're the nesters that have been causing you so much trouble. Why didn't you and Clem tell me them nesters was a girl and an old man, Nate? Well, we figured you wouldn't care as long as they were on your land. Tell Clem I want to see him. I'm sorry for what happened, Mr. Powell. And though I don't like nesters any better than I did before, I'll see that you're not bothered again by my boy. If I can throw you off that rangeland by law, though, I'll do it. You're a white man, Brownell, so we won't fight. But if I can stay on that rangeland by law, I'm going to do it. Fair enough. Lama, the real boss of this outfit, will be here sometime tomorrow. So if you and your daughter wish to stay the lazy Y until then, everything will be straightened out all right. Larma Square. We don't want to put you to any trouble. Not a bit. Marie. Show these folks to the extra room. Yes, sir. I just discovered one of our fences out on the upper range and fresh track where a small herd of stock had been driven off. Did you follow the tracks? Yeah. Lost them among the rocks. It's probably them nesters again. It's not the nesters this time, Clem. They're in the house right now. You mean they're here? I sure do. They've been with Tom and Nate all day. It sort of looks to me, Clem, like the nesters are being used as a blind to cover up real rustling. Meaning what? Meaning that there must have been some reason why you kept most of the ranch hands busy trying to run off a couple of nesters. Without telling Brownell, there were only a girl and an old man. You're going a little too far, Tom. Maybe Clem didn't do the right thing, but he probably thought he was acting for the best. We'll start putting out a night rider to watch the herd. And keep a few horses saddled at the ranch for quick riding. That's a good idea. I'll take that first night shift myself. I was figuring on that shift, Clem. There's no... Suit yourself. Brownell says so, it's okay. We'll let it stand that way, Clem.
I thought you was playing homesteader. I was, but I got to thinking things over and decided to do a little investigating on my own. Wasn't thinking of ambushing somebody, was your Nate?
He's dead. How did it happen? I I, I don't know. Uh, the hombre that did the shooting got away. I fired once at him and missed. And then my horse fell and knocked me out. I came to and rode back here, just before you fellas arrived. Blinken never had a chance. His pistola is not even fired. How many shots did you say you fired? One. One, eh? You don't think that I... I don't know what to think. But there were two shots fired from this gun. Wait, hey, if that's true, there, there must be something wrong. You're darn right there's something wrong. Take him back to the ranch. Rinomento! Not so quick. Senor Tom, take the pistola. Drop them gun. Listen, Brownell. Seeing as how you've acted so hastily, I'm going to tell you something. I'm Tom Saunders, the new superintendent of the Lady Wire Ranch. Suppose you prove it. Lama said the man he was sending out to take my place would bring me a letter. The letter's gone. Sure, it's gone. But you never had one. You're a crook and a killer. If you did have a letter, Tom, why didn't you show it to me when you first met me? I didn't know whether you were on the level or not. I figured I'd learn more by keeping quiet. Well, you'll have a chance to prove your story tomorrow when Larma comes. Bring him along, boys. We'll take him to the sheriff in the morning. Come on, you. That's so rough. I'm sure sorry to see you fellows leave us, but our accommodations ain't exactly fitting for jailbirds. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. But both my father and I have tried to talk Brownell into letting you go. Brownell is all right, Betty. But he just put confidence in the wrong people. Oh, I certainly hope Larmer gets into town today and straightens things out. I'm worried. I'm worried, too. I'm sure some of the lazy Y hands are in cahoots with the wrestlers. All ready, boys? Okay, boss. Bring them out. All right, come on out, you two. Go on, you and your daughter make yourselves at home, Pao. Till I get back with Lama. Thank you. Uh, you run on up the house, honey. I want to stay here a while. Hey, Zeke, come here. Saddle up poor horses. We're riding. We got to work fast, Clem. Tom was sent out here by Lama. I found a letter on him the other night when he was knocked out. You did, huh? What are you doing to my father in there? Let me 
Listen, Brownell. I'm going back to the ranch. And the only way you can stop me is to start shooting. What do you mean? Now, I may be wrong, but I wouldn't trust none of your outfit. It isn't safe for Betty and her dad to stay there with you gone. I'll go back with you, under guard, if you want. Then, if everything's okay, you can take me to jail. All right. But no funny business. Don't worry. Get in the buckboard. Get in here. You drive. Yeah. boys know what to do. We don't want anybody left to do any talk. Come on, boss. Let's get the cattle. No. We got to get rid of those men first. They'll go back to the ranch and give us away. Was right about Clem and Nate being crooked. They've got his letter from Larimer to you, and they're headed now to make a final raid on the lazy white cattle. I've been a fool, Tom. It may be very too late to make amends. How about our guns, Brownell? I'll get them for you. But, caramba, senor, how am I going to use the pistola with my hands tied up? You be it to town, Benny, and get the sheriff. We'll kind of check up the rustlers while you bring help. I went.
Take care of them, boys. Fine work, compadre. Uh, it looks like a cyclone struck around there, Tom. You know anything about it? Yeah, a little. But from now on, I'm going to be a plumb gentle. Senor, here is a letter which makes my compadre the big boss of the Lazy Y Rancho. You're right, Pablo. Lama explained everything about you, Tom. And I'm turning over the job to you at once. Well, I was just thinking that, that uh, if it's all right to a farmer here, the only job is open is the foreman. Uh, that is, uh, if there's a house where a married man can live. And, uh, if you want to hire me, you're hired. And thanks. Don't forget, Senor Tom. I want to be the papa. Uh, Perdón, I mean what you call uh, the god papa. Wasn't that a great show? Wasn't it a great film? Wasn't it enjoyable entertainment? Thank you for joining us. We hope you'll check back with us often and see what we've recently uploaded because we have thousands of Western films in our archives, some very, very rare films, and we plan on sharing them with you here on Westerns on the Web. My name's Bob Terry. Have a great-tastic day, and we hope to see you again on Down the Trail. <laughs>